Hello everyone, uh, you're welcome to today's video. So in today's video we are going to be uh, giving more details about this machine here. So I'll be talking about how it works and also I'll talk about some of the new parts I have uh, added to this machine. So this uh, bricket machine uses uh, a crank so we by turning this crank it can uh, be used to extrude brickets okay. So what we do is that after mixing our char, uh, we shall fill in this hopper. Then, so the filling part, we use this bucket here. We scoop the char, then we, we pour into the hopper, okay? After pouring into the hopper, we can use this, uh, this rod here. And uh, what this rod does is that it can help us to push the char down the shaft, okay? So if you hold this shaft and uh, this and we we press the chair into the what the bricket machine okay then after as you rotate the uh, this crank here we shall have our brickets extrude from this other side okay some of you in the comments were are asking about the hollow bricket so we see here we have this rod here that uh, can actually be used to uh, form the hollow bricket okay so the bricket that comes out of this will be hollow because we have this uh, this rod here and this is because uh, when you see our auger or the screw, you see that we have this kind of shape, okay? So the rod is uh, uh, just in front here, it's holding in front. So when the material comes and flows, as it extrudes, this rod will leave behind a hole in the bricket, okay? Yeah. So then, that was uh, the basic operation of our bricket machine. And now let's look at the bearing, some of the new parts we added, okay? So the new parts we have the bearing, okay? So in the previous video, you may have realized that uh, actually the bearing was something very simple. It's a bushing here. We just have a bushing. So what I mean is that uh, we have uh, two pieces. The bushing has two pieces. We have this inner piece and the outer piece, okay? The inner piece sits on the outer piece they're just two pieces together okay nothing in between just the bushing so that was very simple but it has some issues as well um, so what i had to do is uh, i had to design another another what another kind of bearing actually you have two of them okay so let's go and look at those bearings so now let's look at the uh, the bearings so let's look at this first one here so this is how it is assembled this is a, a bushing type so uh, let's play this animation as i explain okay from this animation you can see all the parts and this is our inner bushing the inner part of the bushing so this inner part is one that is locked or fixed on the shaft and you see we are using this nut to fix it and uh, we're using this uh crusher there so uh, we also have uh, this is the outer outer part of the bushing outer piece so the outer piece will just sit on the inner piece okay they just sit in contact so you see on the outer part we also have uh, we have these holes here so these holes here are just to for lubricating the what the bushing the inner lining of the bushing the, the interface uh, between the this and uh, the outer one so it's used for lubricating and that's why we have these holes there so uh, now we have this uh, washer which will just sit there then we have this uh, suck clip that will come and uh, lock the washer in place then we have the housing okay yeah so uh, from here you've seen that how uh, all these pieces have, have been assembled together and uh, now let's look at the cross section of this uh, this bearing. So from the cross section, we are going to select a uh, plane here, cutting plane. So from here, you can see actually how everything is uh, looking from this cross, cross cross section point of view. So you see that uh, we have uh, this is our this is the black piece is our sack clip. Then we have this blue one, which is our washer. 
the washer you see the washer is is uh in contact with this outer housing the one in yellow then we see the one in red is the inner piece of the bushing okay this is our small bolt locking the bushing onto the shaft so uh i think this is very clear so next let's look at another part let's look at another bearing type so the other bearing type is uh uh, is uh, this one this one uses uh, actual ball bearings and uh, let's go and check out the animation so from the animation you see here that we have actually more parts uh, than the other bearing so let's play as I explain so as usual we have this split that will go in first then we have this piece so this piece here is just used to uh, look uh the the these other components uh from on the shaft okay so let's let's see let's just play so we have this washer which will sit there then we have uh this uh bolt here that sits there then this uh piece here that comes is just another it's just a spacer just a spacer and it is used to hold the, the round bearings in place okay so let's let me show you so that goes there then the bearing will sit on the spacer then this one will come and sit so and uh, let me just go back a bit here so when you see inside here we have this so this bearing this bearing sits in here in here then we have this other bearing here that will sit in here then this one we we'll just lock everything in place. Let me play and we continue. So it will sit there. Then this bearing will sit in this groove. Then we have another a washer here. No, this is not a washer. This is also another spacer. Then you see the spacer where I put this space because it is just trying to hold the bearing in place. Okay. So in, in the housing. So this we shall look at this more in detail on the cross section. Okay. Let me play that so the cover comes and covers everything up so with this uh, let's go and check the section okay so in the section here we see let's first select a plane then click section so um from the section here we see that uh we see everything as it's uh in more detail okay so you see here we have this red spacer that first went in place so we see that it is just holding the bearing this is the bearing and this is the bearing so it's holding the bearing in place okay and then we also have this which is uh, the bolt that is locking onto the shaft you see from here you can see that the bolt is locking in the shaft or the screw so uh, and then we have also on this other side the yellow part is just uh, the housing for the bearing and then we have here another bearing here, a round bearing that is held in place using this blue part. The blue part is a, just a spacer as well. And you see there's a spacer, the blue one, is also used for holding the what? The round bearings in place, okay? Then finally we have a, we have a, we have a sack clip. And uh, from actually, what I've realized now is that the sack clip actually has no use, but let's leave it there. Yeah. But anyway, that is our assembly for this bearing, and that was a section. And then finally, we shall be talking about the how the new machine looks like, okay? So, hello guys. In this section of the video, uh, we are going to be looking at uh, the new machine and uh, how it looks like okay so with all the adjustments i'm going to show you how the new machine looks like so uh previously we said we have uh, a new bearing so uh, this is a bearing we are going to use uh, on this uh, new machine we are going to use the round bearings okay so we have the round bearings there then uh let's cover that up so what else we added on this machine 
I realized here that uh, in the front part here, we added uh, a disk, okay? So we added this disk here, which basically, uh, I think a cross section will be better. Let's try to get a cross section. All right, so this is a cross section. Let's put back uh, some this part here. Oh, yeah, let's put back this part. So, guys, this is our new machine, and this is a cross section. So, in the cross section, you see that we added this uh, front part here, which is basically something of a sort. So we added this part here so that uh, it um, it can hold the shaft first of all in place at the end. It holds the shaft in, in position. And secondly, we have this conical shape here, which uh, actually facets, facilitates uh, the, uh, the production of uh, at harder briquettes, I guess. Because uh, from this geometry, we see that uh, if we have uh, the material coming in here, and uh, as it goes to this side, we see that we have uh, a reduction in area at this edge, at this point here. And with uh, with this conical shape here, we see that the reduction is actually more more gradual. And uh, at the end here, we shall have our briquettes being extruded, okay? So that's why we have uh, this conical shape here. So uh, maybe in this case, we shall have a little bit harder briquettes. And uh, adding all these features uh, on this briquette machine will mean that uh, uh, rotating this machine will actually be hard because uh, we have a small gap of extrusion here. So that's why we have a chain system here so that in case it is, uh, it is harder to rotate this, we can actually, this chain system will help us to uh, kind of produce more torque, okay? Yeah. That's why we have the chain system with a small sprocket here and the larger sprocket on this side. And uh, as I said, we have a new bearing. So from the cross section here, we see that uh, it has been shown here. From the cross section, we see that it has been shown here. We see that we have a yellow housing. And these are our bearings, the round bearings. And these are the... So... I already talked about the bearing. We don't have to repeat that. And um, yeah, basically this is our briquette machine and that was the cross section. So guys, I think this is the end of the video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.